Chrissy. I love that you're back in Maine. Yo, what up, though? Calling for Chrissy T. Oh, it's just Chrissy. What's she going to say next? Chrissy T in the morning, more like Chrissy unfiltered in the morning. Maine's new way to wake up. Chrissy in the morning on Portland's number one hit music station, Q97.9. Yes, Chrissy, you're on the queue. Let's go. Woo! Bring it back up, bring it back up. Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. I kind of love that I've become a softball girly. Yeah. Yeah, I joined a team on Casco Bay Sports. You know, it's softball season for CBS, Casco Bay Sports here in Maine, here in Portland. If you're a part of it, then you know you know. Now, I always did soccer. I was always the soccer girl on Monday nights. And we would play over in Fitzpatrick, I believe it was called, over in that field at nighttime. But I switched it up. And we're doing softball this year. And I've been practicing every day. Every day. Kind of gives me like a little hobby. But most of my friends are also on teams as well doing softball. So we get to play each other, which has been really fun. And yesterday, yesterday was hilarious. We went to one of our friends games and it was over in Payson Park which was really cool it's a beautiful night real buggy though gets real real buggy over there but it's okay you gotta bring your bug screen bug screen bug spray (laughs) there's sunscreen and there's bug spray and somehow I combine them together but yeah yesterday was a lot of fun I saw a lot of you come up to me and say listen to the cue which I really appreciated and I I just I love meeting you in any setting in any capacity so please always come up and say hello to me it's a good feeling, you know, when you say that you listen to the show. It, it, it makes it worth it. But we brought Maverick. My boyfriend and I brought Maverick because our friends play on the team. And one of our friends scored a home run. And it was just really cute because everyone's yelling and screaming. And my dog, who loves the guy that got the home run, his name is Jeremy. <laughs> Maverick's barking as if he's clapping along. It was just, it was the cutest moment ever. And I know it's one of those things where if you had to, you had to be there to understand it but i'm gonna explain it to you anyway oh and by the way they have a concert series first ever at payson park it's the first tuesday of every month so unfortunately it doesn't happen a lot but it's a free concert and it starts at 6 30 goes till 7 30 real quick thing just an hour um and that was yesterday it was their very first one to kick it off so i absolutely had to walk down i wrote an article on it and it's trending on our q97.9 app if you want to check out the next dates and the The next time that they have a free concert at Payson. Um, I put all those details up for you. But yeah, it was really cute. It was super wholesome. We brought the dog to listen to some acoustic music. And I put up all of the highlights on our Q97.9 Instagram. Oh, guys, it gets better. When I was on my way home, the sea dogs were putting fireworks off. They were, or how do you say that? Shooting them off? They were shooting off fireworks. So wholesome. Real big wholesome day in Maine. Main summer is finally summering. Things are... Let's begin now. Chrissy in the morning. On Q97.9. I woke up this morning and I said... All right, girly, good morning. What's your name? My name is Monica. Monica, we're talking about alternative swear words. What you got for me? I, I've used that nabbit before. And <laughs> I've used... Oh, shoot. My daughter... <laughs> She is, um, she's almost seven, and so she started to sort of learn that if she hears it, then she can say it, <laughs> which isn't really the way it should go. But her word is yeet. Like, every time I almost say a swear word, she says yeet. She so says that's yeet? that's become my new thing. Yeet, yeah. <laughs> can you use that in a sentence, please? Like, like, oh, yeet, I dropped the glass. Now, that's interesting because... I, I can't really keep up with this, this Gen Z or X, X, Y, whatever freaking generation we are. But I always yeah. hear the 20 something year olds in our office. They always say, I yeeted myself off the building or like I, I yeeted my water bottle across the room. So there's there's so many different meanings to that word. I know. I don't have the I don't know the exact definition. I bet um, Urban Dictionary could tell us. Yeah, I'm going to do it right, right? now. I'm going to do it right now. Live, okay. live here in the flesh. UrbanDictionary.com. Yep. Urban. What was that? What is that? Sorry, I'm on the turnpike. That was the the, the, the rumble strip. You went over. You went over the, the rumble strip because you're talking to me. You better get. You better pull over. No. You better yeet your car to the side of the road, girl. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's cones, and so they have 
me go to the side, and it's obviously, like, right at the side where it is. So, like, right now I'm balancing between two wheels. Okay, ready? UrbanDictionary.com says the definition of yeet is to discard an item at a high velocity. I mean velocity. Sorry, dyslexic. Okay. So here's a sentence. Alex finishes his soda and proceeds to yeet his empty can into the trash bin. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) But I like the way your daughter says it first. (laughs) Yeah. She just uses it as a replacement. As as a naughty biscotti word. I love it. (laughs) Right. (laughs) All right. Let's keep this going. What do you and your family use as a replacement word for a naughty word? I'm not going to lie. Some of y'all are scaring me with these. You're so good at it that it sounds so real. I got my hand hovering over the bleep button. Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. Good morning. I'm sweating from all these almost swear words. Shouldn't be. It's only 64. But people are almost swearing on my show. I got a good one for you. Hit me. Goose feather down. What the heck is, is that substitute? What, what, what even is that? Actually, you know what? No, I'm, I'm too scared of this one. I'm going to hang up on you. Q97.9, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Uh, you know, sweating. Just sweating. <laughs> get a little nervous there, did you? I'm very nervous. If I didn't get Botox in my armpits, courtesy of Megan Co., then I would be, okay. my hyperhidrosis would still be going nuts right now. Oh, man. Girl, you got to calm down. I don't know how. Good words for swears. <laughs> what did you say? Just replacement words for swears. They're not the real deal. I know, but what if somebody slips and then my whole job goes out the window? <laughs> give me a, give me an alternative swear word. I feel like you got a good one. Um, uh, well, you got Mother Trucker. It's yeah. a good one. It's always but... scary. <laughs> it's always, sca- it's always I, scary. Instead of saying the S word, I'm like, shish kebab. No, that's scary too. Close, but not a swear. Holy shish kebab. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Not for you. <laughs> Unless you want, like, I don't have any children at home, so I kind of just let it fly off the handle. But when I'm around my grandmother, yeah. I don't swear around her. So I kind of try to find replacements when I'm around her. Yeah, can you do the shish kebab one again? It's kind of waking me up. Oh, shish kebab. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> it's awesome. I love you. You're so funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love you, too. I, I can't feel my armpits right now because I have 120 units of Botox in them, but they want to sweat so bad. <laughs> Throw a couple of napkins under there. You'll be fine. I know. I used to stuff my bra in high school, and, I, and then I used to use those napkins underneath my armpit. <laughs> hey, re- rinse, reuse, recycle. I like it. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> Chrissy in the morning. All right, emergency. Emergency press conference. Emergency press conference. Emergency press conference. That's an emergency press conference. All right, emergency press conference. On Q97.9. You know, (laughs) I don't even want to admit that this person is my friend, but we're off. And it's an emergency press conference because it's blowing my mind. Usually when things blow my mind and you get a reaction out of me, that's when it becomes an emergency. Which is all made possible by Town & Country Federal Credit Union. You know that's my bank. Now, here's what happened yesterday. I have a group of friends. And I went to their softball game to show some support. And after we went to a concert, there was a free Pace and Park concert. It was super cool. I've been talking about it all morning. And I actually wrote an article on it. Because it's a first ever concert series. It's a free concert every Tuesday. The first, not every Tuesday, the first Tuesday in the beginning of every month. There it is. So we went to that and we just got to talking. We're all sitting in a circle. We're just shooting the ish around. And I don't know how, but we get on this topic of, you know, our feet are dirty. It's nice how in Maine it's finally summering again. And I was talking about how I love to walk around barefoot i love being barefoot and if you know me personally then you actually know this about me i'm constantly having to wash my feet always a dirty biscotti now that's the first thing i do when i get in the shower in the summertime typically is i wash my feet i have two separate loofahs i have a foot foot loofah and a body loofah okay you can't wash your feet and then proceed to use the same loofah on your body that's just criminal that is just criminal so one of my guy friends admits that he never washes his feet in the shower because they wash themselves while he's standing in the water. And I am like, 
You don't wash your feet in the shower? I'm so unwell about this. So I put I put the question up on our Facebook. Do you wash your feet in the shower? And somebody, you know, most people are like, ew, gross. How could you not wash your feet? But somebody had said they don't wash from their knees down typically. And I'm just, I, I just don't, I don't know how to handle this. I want to cry. I want to do something bad. I'm gonna, I, I want to call the police on you. Who would... Who do you agree with? Do you wash your feet in the shower? I want you to think about this before you call me because my phone lines are blowing up. I'm afraid to answer them live right now. 775-7979 if you want to jump in on this. Do you wash your feet in the shower? And if you want to remain anonymous, go ahead. That's fine. But we've got to get to the bottom of this because if you don't wash your feet in the shower, that is criminal. You're saying you're just going to get in your bed with all the dirt in your toenails? Are you okay? Are you, I'm so angry at my friend. I am so angry at my friend about this. You need a foot loofah or a foot washcloth. Just because you're in water doesn't mean you're clean. You know, just because you're in the bath doesn't mean the bath is clean. I always say bath water is disgusting. I do. I think people that take baths are are absolutely disgusting and I'll say it. And if you want to fight me, then go ahead. Bath bombs, they scare the hell out of me. They scare the hell out of me. Why would you bathe in a bath bomb? The whole thing is just weird to me. Seven seven five seven nine seven nine. I'm gonna hit these phone lines. When you back up, when you back up. Chrissy in the morning on Q ninety seven dot nine. Do you wash your feet in the shower? Yes or no? Good morning. No. What? <laughs> what? So I'll take my loofah, wash all the way down my ankles, and sometimes like the tops of my feet, but. No, not usually. I don't think I, I really... So the ankle is the cutoff? Like, the ankle is the cutoff. Yeah, I also always wear socks. I don't like to be bare feet, and I wear pants all summer long. Okay, but socks make your feet smell worse. I, I My feet never stink. I don't believe you. I, I swear to God. I didn't even start wearing deodorant until I was like 30, because I just don't... I. Don't oh, it must be so nice to be you. <laughs> Here I am getting... But yeah, no, my... 20 units of Botox in my armpits not to sweat and you're over here like my feet have never once stank in their life I mean they may have like if I wear my rain boots outside and I'm oh that's the boundary long periods of time is that the boundary yeah. only if I wear rain boots will I wash my feet well no I mean unless they really stink, they get pretty clean in the shower like your friend said hold on can you try saying that again because you broke up a little bit but I need to hear the monstrosity that's about to come out of your mouth <laughs> they get pretty clean in the shower, like a friend said, when you're standing there and all the soap runs down your leg into your feet. No, 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 no. Just okay. So just because <laughs> just because you're in a swimming pool, does it mean that? You, does that mean you took a shower because you're in water and you're not scrubbing? That's basically well, what that you're saying. Chlorine is actually cleaning your that chlorine is actually oh, here cleaning your body and like mites and things like that throughout the mm. day off your body. But no, it doesn't exfoliate the dead skin. So I'm, I'm, you definitely need to like scrub in the shower. I'm not going to win with you, am I? No. You and I are pretty pretty strong headed. So I don't get it. But I don't no, get I, it. You must wash your feet. I agree with baths it's and stuff hard. in hot tubs, though. I'm not a bath person or a hot tub person. Things like linger and stay in there for way too long. Mm. But yeah, my feet. They don't really ever stink. They're always clean. And unless my toes are really dirty from being barefoot, that's the power it's very I have. rare outside, I will scrub them. I'll even buttons. take like a toenail brush and scrub them. But otherwise, when I take a normal shower, nope, I get right out. I'm ready to hang up the phone now. I'm ready. I'm ready. I love you, Chrissy. I'm ready to hang up. <laughs> don't hang up on me. I'll let you go. So that way it's cordial. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're nice about it. We're nice about the disagreement. <laughs> That's right. Okay. We can agree to disagree. Yeah, like you're wrong, but you're kindly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin now. Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. I woke up this morning and I said... Man, I even am getting personal DMs right now from someone named Trevor. He says, oh, if you're so worried about my feet hygiene, how about you pay for my pedicure? Absolutely not. You pay for my pedicure. For this type of entertainment. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Please tell me you wash your feet in the shower. This is criminal. 100%. Thank you. Oh, my God. I cannot believe the amount of people that do not wash their feet. I'm I'm sick over here. In fact, I'm unwell. Very unwell. I'm, I'm uh, choking down my smoothie as I hear all of this. 
Oh, well, that sounds painful. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. My husband was a non-feet washer <gasps> until we got together. I was going to say, there's no way you married a non-feet washer. That's criminal. <laughs> uh, no, I definitely, I've taught him well. Okay, so walk, yeah, walk me through how you taught your husband how to wash his feet. A grown-ass man. Walk me through that. Well, I I mean, we shower together and I'm just like, listen, you need to wash your feet because that is freaking disgusting. I'm sorry. Well, you just let the water run down. That does not wash them. I'm hold on. Uh, I am on a new path now. You shower together? Yes. Like daily? Yes. Like by choice? Well, not what? every, not every single time. What? But yeah, saves water. Oh my god! Oh well, my god! That's like my safe time. Like in the shower, I do weird things. Not like weird things, but you know, I don't want you watching me while I shave my Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> No, I definitely don't do that while he's in the shower. That is my alone shower. That is when I take my nice long shower. Okay, so there's an alone shower and a oh, husband yeah. shower. Yeah. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> I, I don't know what to, I don't really even know what to do or say today. This is a very bizarre show. <laughs> <laughs> he helps me wash my back. He helps you, you can't reach your back? Well, I can reach my back, but why reach it if I can have him help me? Yeah, why do anything if your husband can do it? I get that. I do get that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so now he has to wash his feet and before he gets out of the shower in front of you. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm not going to wash his feet for him. I will tell him to wash his feet. Well, that's what I, I mean. I think that's probably why I pushed it so much because I just, I really do not like feet. Okay. All right. Thank you for being on my side. You're the first person that's like, yes, I do wash my feet like a normal person. Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Always wash your feet. Soap and water. And I'm teaching my kids the same. Please wash your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so unwell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Have a great day. Hey, you. It's Chrissy in the morning. Culture shock on Q97.9. Which is made possible by Lee Auto Mall. My guys over there, you know how I do it with my Jeep. Uh, some of you should go to jail. Some of you should go to jail over this one. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I mean, not great. <laughs> well, I hope you're washing your feet at least. I wash my feet. I'm not great because I'm finding out that all of our listeners don't wash their feet. I definitely wash my feet. I'll even rinse my feet off before Good. I go to bed Good. just because I'm in sandals all day. I work outside a lot. Like, no, no, I'm washing my feet. Thank God. But, and I get my toes done. Like, I don't want to go get my toes done and have them be nasty. See, I get a pedicure every two weeks, and I've been doing this for years because I believe in feet hygiene. It starts there. Oh, yeah. It's and I real. know they're talking about me if I have ugly feet. I'm not going to give them uh, any more ammunition to talk bad about my feet. Yeah, yeah. It's bad enough we can't understand what they're saying about us. Let's not... Let's, exactly. Yeah, let's not give them a layup. I get it. <laughs> so to kind of twist it a little bit, Ooh. I know some people that were like, you clean behind your ears. And I'm like, you don't? They're like, I never thought of it. Ooh. It just drips down from my shampoo and conditioner. Like, Great question. I guess I don't. And I was like, you got to scrub everywhere, everywhere. You can't <laughs> see me, but my jaw is on the floor. I'm like, wait a minute. Do I scrub behind my ears? Right? It's one of those like, oh, wait. Like, sometimes I don't think about it. I'm sure I've gone date like a few days without it. But then I'm like, right. oh, yeah, my ears. But it's that's another one. Oh, God, I'm willing to say I can't even remember last time I, I scrubbed behind my ears. Damn, I'm a hypocrite. Should we ask Should we ask the crowd? I, I say go for it. I was thinking about it. I was like, feet, ears, what else is like a weird thing that you just don't think about? Yeah. Like, I don't really scrub my armpits, but I shave them. Like, does that count? Like, I shave them every day. That's soap. But I guess I don't really scrub my armpits. But Ow. the ears... Yeah, the Wait, ears... Wait, you shave every death. day? I, I'm pregnant right now, so, like, my hair just grows back... Every day. Oh, is that a thing hair. when you're when you're pregnant, your hair grows? Uh, it's in quicker? either a thing or it's not. Okay. Yeah. It, you either get it or you don't. Mm. And I get it. <laughs> well, it, which is good on your head, right? But not good in, in your armpits or everywhere else. Yeah. Oh, or, just, or your Pikachu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't even see that at this point. So who knows? Pikachu. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you for the perspective. Because now, now I got to throw it to the audience and see if anyone washes behind their ears. I'll be listening, <sighs> dirty manners. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty ass manners. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a great. When you back up, when you back up. Chrissy in the morning.
on Q97.9. There's a lot going on here with this one. AI is soon going to be able to observe what you eat and then shame you for it. Now, this is interesting. I think I've been thinking about this all morning of which stance I'm going to take here. But I think full transparency, I think there's a couple different stances to take that I agree with, but some that I really don't disagree with. Here's the way they're framing it. They're saying, hey, do you live with someone who casually critiques your dietary choices? Like, oh, cheese it's again, huh? Well, now you've got reinforcement in the way of AI to help you stay on track of dietary things. I don't I don't know, guys. I don't know how I feel about this, but research, researchers, words are hard, in Canada are working on a new AI that can identify different foods so that it can quite literally watch what you eat. Um, it's not ready for prime time just yet. It is still being tested, but right now it can just calculate how much food is on your spoon or your plate with about 95% accuracy. So I guess they're really not going to give this uh, to the market yet until it's about 100% accuracy. Um, it can identify exactly what you're eating, tell you what you're eating, and then tell you why it's bad for you. Okay, so it looks like once that happens, it's going to use cameras to track what you eat, of course. So someday soon, you might be able to honestly say, Alexa, how many calories are in this bag of chips I'm going to open today? And it could say back to you, you've already consumed X amount of calories today. Are you sure you want to do that? Okay. Um, with diet culture, here's... Okay. Well, diet culture is a little scary to me. And, you know, we have a lot of fun on this show, but I, I also think that it's very important to address dietary culture issues. Now, I think on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok, we've got these delusional influencers. And do I have a lot of followers? Yeah, I do. But I don't, I'm not going to call myself an influencer. So if you're listening right now and you're like, Chrissy, you have 20,000 followers as well on Instagram. I don't care. I don't care about those followers. And you'll never see me, you'll never see me trying to push anything that I believe in on you guys unless it's positivity. So here's what I'm going to push on you right now. If you... If you are one of those people who are sensitive to diet culture the same way that I am, I'll be very honest with you, I am very sensitive to diet culture. I don't think this is for you. However, on the other end, I think the, those of you that are kind of crazy in the gym, you know, those bodybuilders out there and you, you know, you watch your macros and your and your micros and stuff like that. This might be cool to track everything that you're eating and, you know, AI can tell you what you should and shouldn't eat. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of the times, and I wonder if you relate to me on this one, I genuinely have to tell myself, if you want that cheeseburger, eat the cheeseburger. Stop saying it's a hot girl summer to yourself in your head. Stop saying carbs are bad for yourself in your head. That's something I've been personally working on is allowing myself to go eat the fries on a Friday night with my friends. It's okay to get some serotonin through an ice cream cone on a Tuesday night even if I didn't work out. That's something that I'm very much working on. So I do think that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't like this. I don't like this AI thing. I think AI is good for a lot of things like chat GPT. Um, I think it's very good for, you know, the tedious things in life that we might need a computer's help for. I don't think that we should be using AI to shame ourselves for eating food or to bring more hyper awareness to us of what we're eating. I I don't know. I don't know. What do you think about this? 775-7979. I know that more so lately, it's very tough for women over men to, you know, scroll through social media and not see a bikini model and say to yourself, well, I'm not going to eat dinner tonight. I don't think we need AI to attach more eating disorders to our brains. I don't believe that. I think this is kind of wild. I think we're using it now for 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 worse. I think this is where we're, the trade is now starting to go off the tracks with AI. I don't like this at all. Um, I think it'd be great if they didn't come out with this. Honestly, I really do. I really do. And if you are a gym head, I don't really think you need this. Gym heads and bodybuilders and fitness instructors, instructors they know how much a bag of chips is. They know how many calories they've consumed in a day. You don't need AI to tell you and to shame you. I don't know. I'm just looking out for the younger women. And, you know, you know I'm very big 
on younger women developing in the right way, not bullying others, but don't bully yourself either. That's called, this to me feels like you're going to bully yourself out of serotonin. You're going to bully yourself out of living a full and a good life. So yeah, I think I'm, I, I'm against it. I think I am against AI shaming what you eat to keep you skinny. What do you think? What do you think? Is there anyone listening right now that has an opinion? Before we move on from it, I just I just want to know real quick. Seven seven five seven nine. Bring you back up. Bring you back up. Chrissy in the morning on Q ninety seven dot nine. Damn, guys, I'm so sad. My phone just died. I was going to read all of you that just followed me on Chrissy T Radio on Instagram. I was going to give you a shout out. But once my phone charges, because it is right now, give me like three more minutes. I'll shout all of your handles out, show you some love. In the meantime, let's do some shout <laughs> Let's do some shout outs right now. <laughs> That's a hard thing to say. Some shout outs right now. Okay, let's do it. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, honey? What's your name? Um, Brittany. Hi, Brittany. What are you doing? I'm just driving to my parents' house. I was calling just to give a shout out to two of my best friends. They're both born in June, Maddie and Kelsey. Love it. Um, they're the best two females I could ever possibly have known. And also, my nephew's in the hospital right now and getting ready to have my new niece. <gasps> and he's also born in June. So, just a shout out to Alonzo and Julia also. So. Oh, so it sounds like all the important people in your life are born in June. I love that. It, it was my sister's birthday yesterday. Oh, happy birthday to her. Happy birthday to everybody in our lives. I love this. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> When's your birthday? Uh, October. October. Okay, that's good. You're a Scorpio then. Nope, I'm a Libra. Oh, damn. I'm not an astrology yeah. girl. I tried. Libras are awesome too, though. It's perfect. Yeah, they are. The only thing I know about astrology is I love Scorpios. It, and anybody that I've ever talked to that's a Scorpio, I love or, or or I can't let go of or they become my best friend. Oh, guys, my phone just turned on. Hold on. I'm going to go grab it. I'm grabbing it on the other side of the studio. 2% works. 2% works. All right. I'm going to give some Instagram handles some shout outs right now. Let's go. Hold on. Let it load. Okay. I've got TJK Ryan 47. I got Hip Hops, MVP, R-C... Gosh, some of these I can't pronounce. R-C-H-E-P-L-I-C. I got Jess. I've got Britt, XOXO, Chelsea Lynn, 0323, Megan Pace, 08, your main esthetician. I got Lost Key, 76 on the check-in. I've got the nightmarish one. That's a little scary. Nikki Labatt. Hopefully I said that right. And Baby Hulk 29, thank you guys so much for the support. I'm always going to support you right back. And, um, you know, you're the reason why Chrissy in the Morning is as successful as, as it is. It's because of people like you. So keep it coming. Let's show some love. If you have any shout outs, you got any June birthdays, hit me up. 775-7. Chrissy in the Morning on Q97.9. Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. The most popular question of the show today, do you wash your feet while you're in the shower? Hello. No. What? <laughs> what? So I'll take my loofah, wash all the way down my ankles and sometimes like the tops of my feet. But no, not usually. I don't think I, I really... So the ankle is the cutoff? Like, the ankle is the cutoff. Yeah, I also always wear socks. I don't like to be bare feet, and I wear pants all summer long. Okay, but socks make your feet smell worse. I, I My feet never stink. I don't believe you. I, I swear to God. I didn't even start wearing deodorant until I was like 30, because I just don't... I. Don't oh, it must be so nice to be you. <laughs> Here I am getting yeah, no, my. 20 units of Botox in my armpits not to sweat and you're over here like my feet have never once stank in their life I mean they may have like if I wear my rain boots outside and I'm oh that's the boundary for long periods of time is that the boundary yeah. only if I wear rain boots will I wash my feet well no I mean unless they really stank, they get pretty clean in the shower like your friend said hold on can you try saying that again because you broke up a little bit but I need to hear the monstrosity that's about to come out of your mouth <laughs> they get pretty clean in the shower, like the friend said, when you're standing there and all the soap runs down your leg into your feet. No, 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 no. Just Okay, so just because <laughs> you're in a swimming pool, 
Does it mean does that mean you took a shower because you're in water and you're not scrubbing? That's basically well, what that you're saying. Well, that chlorine is actually cleaning your that chlorine is actually cleaning your body and like mites and things like that throughout the mm. day off your body. But no, it doesn't exfoliate the dead skin. So I'm, you I'm, definitely need to like scrub in the shower. I'm not gonna win with you, am I? No. You and I are pretty pretty strong headed, so I don't get it. But I don't no, get I, it. You must wash your feet. I agree with baths and stuff in hot tubs, though. I'm not a bath person or a hot tub person. Things like linger and stay in there for way too long. But yeah, my feet, they don't really ever stink. They're always clean. And unless my toes are really dirty from being barefoot, which is very rare outside, I will scrub them. I'll even take like a toenail brush and scrub them. But otherwise, when I take a normal shower, nope, I get right out. I'm ready to hang up the phone now. I'm ready. I'm ready. I love you, Chrissy. I'm ready to hang. Bring you back up. Bring you back up. Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. This, this is insanity, dude. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I agree with that. Yeah, like what? What does your shower look like? Okay, that sounded creepy. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually, like, completely shocked at how many people don't wash their feet while they take a shower. I mean, all this scum that gets in between your toes and everything. Yeah, the little rascals wrote a whole poem about it. Remember? Yeah. I hate your stinking guts. You make me vomit. You are scum between my toes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, 100% every time I take a shower, I definitely got to wash my feet. And nothing for nothing, but you're a guy, and don't take that offensively, but if a guy can do it? No. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I work all day, you know what I mean? Even if you have brand new socks that, like, they break apart, get in between your toes, it's just, no, 100% agree with you on that one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you have a good day. Thank you for just painting a picture of really gross feet. I appreciate that about you. <laughs> <laughs> you're done. All right, I'm going to jump out of here. Tomorrow is, wow, Thursday already. I feel like this week went pretty quick, huh? Um, I'll talk to you 6 a.m. Remember, if it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. And it's going to be a gorgeous day today. Get out there. Do something active for your mind, body, and soul before the rain.